Forget the ZPD, Judy Hopps has something to prove at Disney Animation. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Zootopia. I have 36 hours left. We can only solve it together. It's not about how badly you want something. It's about what you are capable of. I am a real cop. Never let them see that they get to you. You bunnies. <laughs> so emotional. No, 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 no. Do not let go. I'm gonna let go. What? We may be evolved, but deep down, we are still animals. Oh, quit it. You're gonna start a howl. What exactly is the bread and butter of Disney animation? Is it princess movies? The Lion King would seem to indicate otherwise. Is it computer animation? Again, The Lion King would seem to indicate otherwise. Musical scores? That seems like a winner. But then what about Zootopia? I mean, there's one song from Shakira, and who doesn't love those Magic Mike Tigers? But still, clearly this movie does not have a let it go. It's also not the only anthropomorphic animal movie of the year. Kung Fu Panda 3 is currently playing in theaters while Sing hits theaters this holiday season. That's a lot of animals and pants. But interestingly, foreign moviegoers are already quite taken with Zootopia, where it's pulling in big numbers for overseas, and in many countries hitting before Kung Fu Panda 3, which has been slow to roll out. But when it comes to the United States and China, where Kung Fu Panda 3 has already opened strong, is Zootopia a big enough movie to compete, or does it seem more like standard Disney Channel fare? Sadly, Zootopia has not done much to toot its own horn. For instance, it's directed by a mighty trinity. Byron Howard from Tangled, Rich Moore from Wreck-It Ralph, not to mention The Simpsons and Futurama, as well as Pen Zero part-time hero creator Jared Bush. Uh, so maybe that last one isn't so convincing, but have you seen the world building? Zootopia features world building on a level that's more akin to video games than animated films. But the only video game it's getting is an appearance in Disney Infinity 3.0. You're missing some major opportunities here, Disney. It also features a score by the delightful Michael Giacchino, who Disney Animation totally snagged from Pixar. Zootopia also features the voice talents of a bunch of actors with strong cult fan bases, but little box office clout. Hmm, it would seem that Zootopia as a film is as intricate as it is a world to escape into. But the question is, will it emerge as something bigger than the sum of its parts? Or will it just also get its own cult fan base? Hey, we're getting another princess movie in November. So there's one saying that I think perfectly captures how I feel about Zootopia. And that's, I want to go to there. Because seriously, several times during the movie, I felt like yelling, stop, I want to look around. The world building in this movie is so spectacular, it's probably the most spectacular world building I've ever seen, live action or animation. And previously, uh, the, the uh, top score was Wreck-It Ralph, but the world building here is even better than that movie, which is, I know, hard to believe, but wait until you see it. And I hope a lot of people do see Zootopia, because we're still waiting on Wreck-It Ralph 2. Now, speaking of Wreck-It Ralph, this movie, it's funny, you know, we talked in the open about who the directors are, and the two lead directors are the directors of Tangled and Wreck-It Ralph. And Zootopia really is those two movies mashed together. You've got Rabbit Unzel and Fox Rider going around a really well thought out world learning a message about bad guys. But uh, at the end, at the end of the day, Zootopia still manages to feel like its own thing because several elements are so well done. What are they? Well, great characters, great voice work, that great world building, and a great mystery. So we're going to talk about those four things here, and then we'll go into more details in the spoiler review. Now, with characters, I love Judy Hopps so much. I think a lot of people are going to relate to Judy Hopps. I'd be interested to know how guys feel about the character, but as a female viewer, wow, I was like, you have created me in animated bunny form. Uh, so she was wonderful, and I wish they'd used her to advertise the movie more, because they focus so much on uh, the Nick Wilde character, who I also really liked, but he's just, you know, basically a Fox version of Jason Bateman. Uh, so I, I think that Disney has a real home run with Judy Hopps, and I think she's a character a lot of people are going to like and want to see 
more from. Uh, I did like uh, Nick Fox, uh, I mean Nick Wilde, the Fox, quite a bit. But while those are the two lead characters, something I really liked about Zootopia is that all of the characters were really well done. There were a number of characters that stood out that we'll discuss in the spoiler review. But not only were they all anthropomorphized, <laughs> but they also seemed very much like the animals that they were, you know, like you could see they retained elements of how they acted like in the wild. And I thought that was really great. You really felt like each animal was unique and different. They weren't just like, hey, I look like this animal, but I'm basically a human wearing like, I don't know, like, like a lion suit. No, I mean, like there are lion characteristics there, etc. Etc. Idris Elba, so good, so good. He, the man, is there nothing the man can't do? We will definitely be discussing him in the spoiler review. Now, that's that is a good cue to move on to voice work. I thought the voice work here was spectacular. Everyone did such a good job. But what I liked most about it was that it felt like the voice work, not in a Disney movie, but like in the Lego, like uh, the Lego movie, right? Or uh, let's see, I had another example here. Uh, oh yeah, or The Simpsons, because you know this. Uh, one of the directors worked on The Simpsons. Also, Mega Mind reminded me a little bit of Mega Mind, and that's that. You know, even in Wreck It Ralph, John C. Riley was doing like his family voice, right? Sarah Silverman was doing her kids' uh, version of herself. But here, everybody just was being a character, and they were just acting, and there was even, I'd say, a lot, a healthy dose of edge in the movie as well, which I really appreciated, and I think it's gonna make it play particularly well with adults as well as families and kids. I think there was a lot here that um, was geared specifically towards adults, and probably got is gonna help get kids ready for the truths, the hard truths of being an adult. Uh, now next, the world building. I'm upset that there isn't a DK guide that I can curl up with right now to further explore Zootopia. I want the cutaways, I want the little factoids and details, you know, the reason we all love DK guides to begin with, and I just can't imagine that they would spend so much time developing this world and not have further plans for it. If they don't, I'm going to be absolutely heartbroken because it, it, in the movie it creates great atmosphere and uh, you know addition, an additional layer of entertainment, but there are many parts of the of Zootopia that I felt were underexplored. And so if I had one gripe with the movie, it would be that. I'd be like, you can't dangle that kind of world building in front of me and then just move on. Then finally, the mystery. Very good mystery. A lot about this movie surprised me. They were so good at keeping this under wraps, it reminded me a little bit of uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens. And they even went so far as to put Mr. X in the trailer, the way they cut some things, and I think they even changed some of the lines uh, to make, to throw you as to uh, what happens in the movie. So I was impressed that they went to that level to maintain their secrets. And the uh, the mystery always stayed a step ahead of me. I, I couldn't solve it in advance of, uh, 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 I don't want to even, I don't want to give anything away. I couldn't solve it in advance. I was thoroughly hooked. It was a very good detective story, and I was really, really impressed. I would say they put as much effort into creating a mystery and the clues and making sure that it all fit together and that in hindsight nothing seemed, you know, cheap, like it was all earned, as they did the world building. So I really, really appreciated that. All right, so I don't want to ruin anything else. Go see Zootopia. As for 2D or 3D, the press screening was in 2D, which I never understand. I mean, if you if you want people to pay for 3D, have the critics go to see it in 3D, and then we'll encourage people to go to see it in 3D. But I can only say that the 2D version was obviously awesome. Uh, oh, by the way, somebody asked me about Shakira. Shakira has a very small part, but her song was very well utilized. It was, you know, you couldn't help tap your foot in the theater uh, when they were playing it. They played it a lot, but it was a very good song and it fit with the movie perfectly. But uh, 2D worked out fine. As for 3D, I'm going to pay to see this again on Friday and I'm going to see it in 3D and I will tweet whether or not the 3D made a difference. So uh, uh, keep an eye on my Twitter account if you yourself are trying to decide between 2D and 3D. Boy, I hope a lot of people see Zootopia. I mean, Wreck-It Ralph, Megamind, Zootopia, all such good movies. One of them has to get a, you know, a, a freaking sequel. All right, so that's my review of Zootopia. Leave your thoughts down below. I know a lot of you in Europe have already seen it, so be careful to put spoiler alerts in the comments if you want to discuss spoilers, and that spoiler review will go up later today. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.